Good evening and thank you for joining us live here on Sky News Weather. It's just gone 8 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Now we did have a tropical low in the Coral Sea develop into a Category 1 cyclone earlier today. Now it is currently sitting about 640 kilometres east of Cairns and it is strengthening. It is likely to make landfall and to talk about what is going to happen when this cyclone does make landfall, I caught up with Senior Meteorologist James Taylor from the Bureau of Meteorology and this is what he had to say. Now, if it doesn't cross the coast till Monday night or Tuesday morning, then Category 4 is the most likely scenario. The impacts with the Category 4 cyclone in terms of wind, you're looking at wind gusts in the order of 225 to 279 kilometres per hour. That means destructive winds, very destructive, widespread damage, dangerous airborne debris and likely power outages as well. The other thing of concern, of course, is flooding around 200 millimetres per day possible with, in terms of rainfall totals associated with a system like this. If it reaches category four or higher, then rainfall totals greater than that are possible. The impacts with that are flash flooding, so localised flash flooding, but also riverine flooding. And a flood watch is current that talks about the potential for major flooding associated with this system. The other impact is large waves and abnormally high tides and the riskiest place for that is to the south of the centre of the tropical cyclone as it crosses. That's where we'll have the onshore winds that, uh, that blow the, the largest waves, create the largest waves and also create the largest surge in towards the coast. So abnormally high tides, at the moment we're thinking between Cardwell and Mackay is the most likely risk, but anywhere south of the tropical cyclone crossing is, uh, and also the high tide is something that I should talk about because the high tide is when the greatest risk is. So Monday night high tide in Townsville is around 8.30pm and Tuesday morning the high tide is around 9am. Fingers crossed that the coastal crossing doesn't occur coincident with those high tides. Now it is an extremely powerful system and there is still inconsistency between the models as to when exactly the cyclone is likely to make landfall. However, at this point in time, it is looking like it could be early Tuesday morning. So there is a cyclone warning in place. Now that warning is in place from air to St. Lawrence, including Bowen, Mackay and the Whit Sundays. In the warning area, destructive winds are likely to develop about the Whit Sunday Islands on Monday afternoon or Monday evening before extending into other coastal areas north, um, into, sorry, other areas between Air and Mackay overnight on Monday and into Tuesday. Further north, we do have a cyclone watch in place. Now that watch is in place from Cairns right down to Air, and that includes Cardwell and Townsville. In these areas, gales are expected to develop sometime in the next 24 to 48 hours, but the gales are not an immediate threat right now. They are likely to develop between Air and St. Lawrence from late Monday afternoon and evening, and they may extend into the other coastal areas north of about Innisfail during sometime on Tuesday. Currently, Tropical Cyclone Debbie is a Category 1. However, she is moving towards the coastline and intensifying. She's over some very warm waters at the moment. It is likely that she could develop into a Category 4 cyclone as she does make landfall. Now, that is anticipated to be somewhere between Townsville and Prospine at this moment. Now, as a Category 4, we could see maximum gusts in excess of 260 kilometres an hour, which is, of course powerful enough to cause major structural damage, widespread power eight outages. It is going to get fairly intense now. As James mentioned, it's not just the winds to look out for. We are expecting some extremely heavy rainfall associated with this system. Now on Sunday, the heaviest falls are going to be around the central coast and the Capricornia. We are expecting widespread falls in excess of 200 millimetres. Around the southern flanks of that system, we could see anywhere up to about 400 millimetres. Flash flooding and river flooding is likely, so flood watches have been issued right now. They are current for coastal catchments between Cooktown and Mackay, and it does extend inland towards the eastern Gulf River catchments as well. Now, the best advice for residents is, of course, to keep up to date with all of their latest weather information and all of the warnings. Of course, we will be keeping you up to date here on Sky News Weather. But if you do need any assistance at all, don't hesitate to call the SES on 132 500.